full of liquor, then we die. In it, pull him to the side, let me slide. In it. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the time you are watching this video. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you that, that has always been with me to grow this channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Okay, in today's video, uh, I want to share with you all one thing you should put into consideration. The number one thing you should put into consideration if you are planning to move to join your husband or your wife in whatever country or whichever country he or she is. The number one thing you should consider is understanding your spouse, knowing who your spouse is. What I mean by knowing who your spouse is, is knowing his or her temperament. Understand his temperament, understand her temperament. When you understand her temperament and you understand his temperament, going down to live with him or her, it's going to be a lot easier for the two of you to adjust to suit each other. This, this is very important for those of you that have not really lived with your spouse since the two of you got married. If you are in the category of people that the husband or the wife just came down and the two of you got married and the husband went back or the wife went back, it is very, very important for you to understand his or her temperament. Because if you don't, you can get so frustrated when you get to live with him or her. You really need to understand his temperament or a temperament so that you'll be able to adjust peacefully and in happiness it's not only about you but since you since you are the one moving down you really have to know this at the back of your mind who am i actually going to live with who is he who is she Is he going to be there for me? Is he going to be the kind of person I expect him to be? Is she going to be the kind of person I expect her to be? Or am I going to see something different? Understand that you are the one moving down there. You, you are moving down to where you do not know anybody except him or her. So if you do not understand her or him, if you do not, if you do not understand who he is, or she is, if you do not understand his or her temperament, it will be frustrating for you that is moving down there. So it is very, very important. It is very, 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 very important. And especially if you are a man and you are joining your wife that has been in the Western country for a a, a long time and the two of you after marriage have not lived together for for like say six or one year six months or one year mr man you have to sit back and really understand who you married understand who your wife is understand her temperament and also you have to keep, if you are an African man joining your wife that has been in, in, in the Western world for, for a long time, the way we see things in Africa is quite different from the way the Western people see things. But you both don't see things in, this, in, in, in the perspective of an uh, of an Africa, of a uh, Africa, of Africans. If you are an African man 
be ready to drop some of your African mentality. I'm not saying this to as an insult or whatever. I'm just giving a piece of advice. You know, the way Africans see things and things is quite different from the way uh, Americans or Europeans see, see things and the way they think as well. It's quite different. In Africa, as a man, you we, we feel our major responsibility is to go out there, make money, and bring it back to the house while the woman takes care of the house. That is our African mentality. The woman takes care of the house. The woman is responsible for the welfare of the house. Starting from laundry, dishes, and groceries, etc., etc. But here in the Western world, it is not like that. You share. A man can do that. A man can do laundry. A man can uh, be responsible for, for groceries. A man can, can do anything for the house just to keep the house going. I know in Africa, not everyone uh, have uh, the same mentality as Africans. Some, some families, the men still help in groceries and the rest of the stuff and the laundry and dishes. But it's, it's not common in Africa. So if you are a man and you are coming down to uh, the Western world to meet your wife, you have to understand that things will change. Things will not be the way you, you, you've known all your life way back in Africa. And you see... It's, it's two different people coming together. Two people from different culture. Two people from different background coming to stay together. So, it will take a whole lot of your, your understanding, a whole lot of your strength, a whole lot of your, your power to adjust, to suit each of you. Adjust to suit the situation of uh, the Western world. You will have to adjust to suit the life of. Okay, you will have to adjust to to blend with the culture of wherever you are going to. You will have to leave your own culture. Sorry, as an African man, you will have to leave your own. African mentality aside sorry about that and if you are African woman you have to also leave your African mentality in Africa sorry you have to leave them in Africa while you are moving down to to the Western world it could be Europe or America to be with your spouse so that's a piece of advice I, I, I wanted to share with you all to those of you planning to join your spouse in in the country that he or she is so no if you know this and work towards it it will be very good for you it will really help you to adjust when you get to where your spouse is it will help you in the adjustment process but if you don't sit down and put this into consideration, it's going to be so frustrating and difficult for you to adapt and adjust when you get to where he or she is. So, work towards it and you'll be so happy you did. Okay? Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>